einschlagen. Are you all ready to meet our new prince? Yeah! Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Prince Pierre. So that all means hello, and my name is Prince Pierre in French. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I just adore everything about me. Uh. Oh. Clarkson. Uh, yes, your majesty. Take the servants back to the palace. There is work to do. Have you collected the money from these people? Your Highness. Yes. From this moment on, every person in my kingdom shall pay money to me on everything that they earn. But the people are poor. Exactly. How can they afford the flowers that grow from the palace garden? Oh, flowers from the garden. These people have no time for flowers. What's more, from this moment on, the royal gardens will be closed. <gasps> No citizen of Paris will ever set foot in my gardens again. Flowers, roses, what is beautiful about a garden? I see no beauty in a rose garden. But, your highness, the people have always loved the palace gardens. The flowers are an inspiration to people everywhere. Well, they will never see them again. They will be too busy working, making money for me. Oh. You can't do that, your highness. The flowers of the gardens are so beautiful. When I walk through the gardens, I see the beauty all around me. Oh, beauty. There is nothing beautiful in this world except money. And, of course, me. Oh. I am bored of these people. I'm going back to the palace. Clarkson, oh. I need to talk to you about the digging up of the plants and flowers. What? Yes, I thought I would build some royal tennis courts where the flowers used to be. Clarkson, Potty, Buffon, Fifi, Suzette, Baguette, I expect you back at the palace in five minutes. And bring those silver trays. Did you have something you wanted to say? Uh, nothing. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Au revoir, la paison. He's so mean. He's so selfish. Oh, he can't be all bad. Everyone has good in them. I don't think there's anything good in him at all. Oh, well, closing the gardens to the people is outrageous. What can we do? Well, we can still be happy. Even when times are difficult and it feels like the whole world's against us, we can still be happy. Yeah, come on, Buffon. Make everyone happy. No, don't feel like it.
I told you to be back at the palace in five minutes. How long did I say, Cloxon? Five minutes, Your Majesty. All of you, back to the palace. <laughs> I will not be disobeyed. Cloxon, wait! Tonight, I am having dinner with myself. After all, who else would I want to spend the evening with? The prince was so cross with his servants when they got back to the castle. He made them work for the rest of the day. Clocks and setting all the clocks. Buffon polishing the candlesticks. Potter washing all the plates and cups. Fifi had to sort out every wardrobe in the castle. He even had the maids set the table for 1,000 dinner guests. And even though he was dining alone, the servants were not very happy. I'm exhausted. I've checked every clock in the palace. Tick tock, tick tock, chime, chime. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Oh, Buffon, we don't have a cuckoo clock. Oh, please. All the teacups in the palace. There are so many. I can't work anymore. Clockson, have you done all the jobs I asked you to do? Yes. Buffon. Yeah. In the study, there is an old candlestick, and you missed it. Oh, uh, sorry, I'll go and do it now. You can do it first thing in the morning. Tonight, I need you to build a fire. There is a storm coming. I don't want to be cold tonight. Excuse me, your majesty. Where did you come from? Who are you? Just an old woman seeking shelter from the storm. Oh, you poor woman, let me help you. Fifi, stay back. You get out of here. There'll be no beggars in my palace. I will leave your majesty. But first, I want to leave you with a gift. A gift? I have no need of gifts. I have everything my heart desires. Wealth, good looks, power. What could you give to me that I do not already possess? I offer a single rose, your majesty. Oh, how kind. <coughs> a single rose. A single rose. I have no need of a single rose. I have French gardens full of flowers. Do not be deceived by appearances, your highness. This rose is special. It is time for you to understand that goodness and beauty is found within. I place a spell on you and all within these walls. Prince Pierre, with my magic power, your body I now transpose. You will learn to see the good in people with a lesson from this single rose. If you do not see the good in people before this rose dies, then you and all within this palace will die too. Your journey of self-discovery must now begin. Before the last petal from this rose does fall, you must learn that kindness and beauty is found within. Your evil ways must now cease. Until you find the answers, I transform you into a hideous beast. surrounded him. The prince could not see the beauty in his palace garden, and he could not see the beauty anywhere except for himself. Now he was a beast. The only way to break the spell was to learn to see the beauty in everyone. Every day Belle would come to the village hoping that Cloxon or Buffon would appear. She missed the magic she found visiting the royal gardens, and she missed her friends from the palace. Belle decided she would go to the big palace. 
If she could meet the prince, then maybe she could persuade him to open the gardens again, so she could marvel at the beauty of the flowers. Maybe she could show the prince the beauty his gardens had to offer. It was quite a climb to the castle, and when Belle arrived, the door was open. Belle entered the castle and called out to see if anyone was at home. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, I'm sure I just saw that candlestick move. Did you see it move? Oh, it must just be my imagination. But what's that doing there? It's a clock. Oh, Belle, what are you doing here? Clockson, is, is that you? But you're a clock. Yes, I'm a clock. And I'm a candlestick. She placed a spell on us and transformed us into everything you can see. Yeah. Look at Fifi, she's a wardrobe. And the maids, salt and pepper. Oh. Oh. When the old woman did this to us, she placed a curse on the castle until someone comes to break the spell. Yeah. Until someone comes to break the spell, but no one ever comes because the master forbid it when he closed the gardens. Yes, the master must learn to see the good and beauty within to make the spell be broken. But wait a minute. Oh, you're here? Oh, this is wonderful. She could be the one to break the spell. Me? But, but what can I do? You can help break the spell, Belle. This is so exciting. Yeah.
When the market did it to us, she turned the prince into a beast! Well, I look forward to meeting your beast. Um, are you not frightened, Belle? No, Potty, nothing frightens me. Oh, Coxon, we need a plan. A plan? Uh, yes, I've got it. Phoebe, take Belle into the other room and get her ready for dinner. Maze, you help as well. Very good, sir. This way, mademoiselle. Oh, put her in something pretty, something the master will know. Very good. Oh, wow. This is such a good idea. The master's going to be so pleased with us. Oh, I don't think he's going to like it. But the only chance he's got to break the spell. Clarkson, Potty, where are you? Oh, sorry, Master. We weren't expecting you. I got bored, so I came to see what you were all doing. Well, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Um, Master, there's been a little situation. Ah. Yes. A situation. Ah, a situation. Ah, I understand there is a situation. Well, what is it? I am listening. Well, you know how we're not supposed to have any visitors to the palace. Oh, yes. I forbid anyone to come here. Do you hear me? Anyone? Yes, I understand that, but... But how will we break the spell if we don't allow visitors? The spell will never be broken. I shall be like this for the rest of my life. Well, in the hope that we might break the spell, we have arranged a guest. You arranged a what? Uh, a guest, your majesty. Am I not the master of this castle? Am I not the one who makes all the commands? I do not want a guest. But you like this one. Ah. May I remind you that with every passing day, the rose is getting older. I know, I know. Look, bring me that rose. Let me look at it. Oh, Master, I think there's only a few petals left. Yes, if that rose dies, we shall be like this for all time. I don't want to remain like this. Oh, go on, just make this girl. Oh, no. This girl. You brought a girl to my castle! Yes, but remember, you need to see the good within. Yes, the good and beauty within. How else will we break the spell? I know, I know. Why keep reminding me? Please, master. I don't want to remain with candlesticks for arms. And me, forever imprisoned in this court. Oh, please, master. Fine. I will look. Well, where is she? <laughs> Master, <laughs> may I present <laughs> Bell? Look at you. Arr! Arr! Why do you not run? Why do you not hide like everyone else when you see this face of mine? Why are you so different? Forgive me, sir. Perhaps you'd like to introduce yourself to me. I am a beast, forever imprisoned within this palace of mine. Well, I'm delighted to meet you. Do you have a name? Beast. It is Beast. You shouldn't have come here. You must go. No, Master, you can't let her go. No, but Master, she has seen us. If she goes to the village, she'll tell everyone about our existence. Uh, you won't be safe, Master. Ah, let me think. Be nice, Master. I said, let me think. Master. You, girl, come over here. My name is Belle. What did she say? She said her name is Belle. What do I care what her name is? Her name means nothing to me. I said, girl, come over here. 
I said my name is Belle. Call her by her name, Master. It is polite. Ah, oh, polite, polite. Oh, be nice. Be a gentleman. Ah, yes, a gentleman. Fine. Come over here. Belle. I am pleased to meet you, Mr. Beast. Master, you think this could be the one to break the spell? Ah. Oh, remember what it's like when we had parties? <laughs> oh, we are not having a party. What are we going to do with you? You can't leave. Master. You shouldn't have come to my castle. Do you hear me? Don't be so beastly. You should learn to control your temper. Well, I... I can't help it. Act like a gentleman. Fine. I apologise. Apology accepted. Master, go on. Ask her to dance. Dance? Yeah. Dance? Yeah. Dance? Yeah. I have not danced for a very long time. Well, then now would be a great time to do it again. Uh, yes, Martha, it's easy. You just go, Phil, may I have this dance? Wait, wait. I ask her. Yes, Master, watch. This is how a pro does it. <coughs> Hello, Phil. Would you like to dance? Oh, move <laughs> on! Go on, Master. Uh, I don't know if I can. Oh, uh, 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 Belle, I wondered if you would like to dance. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Ah, uh, she's too... Oh. Uh, would you dance with me? I would be honoured, Mr. Beast. Uh, I think they're starting to like each other. Now, follow me, and I will show you. one. This is not the way to behave. Look at me. I'm a beast. Why would a beautiful young lady be interested in a beast? Gloxon, take care of Belle. I need to retire. I need to rest. I, I don't have much strength left within me. All this excitement, it's too much for me. I feel that the end is very near. No! Master, don't say that! Where's your spirit? Come on, don't leave us! But there's something really wrong with the Master, what do we do? Potty, I need to sleep now. Look at me. I think my time is nearly up. Oh, be sweet! Let me help you! It's too late. I have no strength left within me. Look, my arms are bending, my back, my legs are... I need to lie down. There must be something we can do to break the spell. Only the master can break the spell. Beast, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Belle. I need to sleep now. But before I do, there is something I must tell you. You are good. Your beauty blooms like the rose. You. You are my fairy tale. No! Please don't leave me!
We discovered magic in the French garden with the story of...